Welcome to Strength for Today's Man. This is volume 123. Thank you for tuning in today. I want to read Leviticus 10.10. And I'm going to tell you, Leviticus is not an exciting book to read. I'm sorry, it's not. It's a sleeper. So if you're having trouble sleeping at night, I suggest flipping your Bible open, go to Leviticus and start reading and watch what happens. You are going to wipe out. You're going to go right to sleep. It's a wrap because it's really not exciting. Now, if you love history and you like law, then it's a perfect book for you. You're going to enjoy it. But I want to read 1010 where it says that you may distinguish between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean. I want to talk about discernment today just for a few moments because it's important for us that are Christians, those of us that are followers of Christ, those of us that trust in God to have discernment. What is discernment? Well, Mr. Webster says that it's the quality of being able to grasp and comprehend what is obscure. Well, let me give you the simplest definition. Discernment is nothing more than the ability to decide between truth and error, right and wrong. That's the simplest form. Discernment is the process of making careful distinctions in your thinking about truth. In other words, the ability to think with discernment is synonymous with an ability to think biblically. In all your decision making, think biblically. In every decision that you have to make going forward, it is important for you to think biblically about it. Is this something that God wants me to do? Is this something that God wants me to partake in? Is this the area that God wants me to move in? Is this the area that God is desiring for me to be in? I don't care if it's a job interview, if it's buying a car, buying a house, buying shoes, as simple as that. You need to have discernment in knowing that it is the right decision for you to make. The key to living an uncompromising life, and this is something that I try to do. I try to live the best of my abilities an uncompromising life. There's a lot of areas in our lives that are gray, and it shouldn't be gray. It should be black and white, but in today's society, there are a lot of Christians that live in the gray area. It's not that bad. Oh, I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, I don't see nothing wrong with that. That's the problem. We're looking through our eyes and we need to see things biblically. How does it line up with the word of God? How does it line up with God, period? Is it something that's conducive to your walk as a Christian? Not everything is expedient for you to do. Not everything is okay. There's a lot of things that are not okay for you to do as a Christian. I don't care how many people are doing it. If it's not comfortable in your spirit, if it's not resting well with you, don't do it. That's how you know that the discerning spirit within you is speaking to you and letting you know that's not the right thing to do. That's not the right area to be in. That's not the right person to hang out with. That's not the right person to marry. That's not the right person to get into a relationship with. If you are tuned into the word of God, if you are tuned into the spirit of God, the spirit of God will speak to your heart and let you know, don't go there. Don't go that route. Don't talk to that person. Don't get involved in that. Don't get involved with that person. Stay away from those people. But you have to be tuned in. How do you do that? By praying, seeking God, laying before God, reading his word so his spirit can really direct you in the way that you need to go. But the key to living an uncompromising life lies in one's ability to exercise discernment in every area of your life. Even if it seems minuscule, even if it seems small, even if it seems remedial, 
You need to seek God in every area of your life. Now, does that take a little time? Yes, it does. This is why you don't need to be in rush making decisions because a rash decision, one that's made out of haste, can get you into trouble. You end up being in something that you don't need to be in. A lot of relationships today end very badly because people don't seek God about the person that they want to be in a relationship with. It's important for you to seek God in a relationship before you get into that relationship. Well, if you're already in that relationship, you can still seek God to give you discernment on where that relationship is headed. Sometimes, especially if you're not married, you need to back away, walk away from that dangerous situation. There are a lot of hints in relationships. There are a lot of aha moments in relationships that people just ignore because they want to be in a relationship. Women stay in abusive relationship because they're lonely, because they need help. Because they need help financially, they need help in raising their children, and that's the wrong reasons to stay in an abusive relationship because they're helping you out financially. Well, do something about it. Get a better job. Go get a job. Seek help. There are a lot of avenues that you can go down that you can get out of that abusive relationship to where that man that's holding you hostage financially, you can get yourself from underneath that. How do you do that? You need to have discernment. You need to think biblically. It's important for you to seek God. It's important for you to hear God's voice. It's important for you to know that the decisions that you're making is right. In Romans 12, we were told to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. These new minds teach us the difference between right and wrong. And then the Holy Spirit steps in and gives us the ability to choose right over wrong. This is why we need to hear God. This is why we need to know God's voice. A lot of people say, something told me. Well, let me tell you something. Something don't talk. Something does not have a voice. It's either God or the devil. That's how you know whether it's right to do or wrong to do by the voice that you hear in your heart, the voice that you hear in your head. God is not going to tell you to do something wrong. That's a clue. God is not going to tell you to do something that's contrary to his word. That's another clue. Only the devil will tell you to do something that's sneaky. Only the devil will tell you to do something that you know is wrong. If you have to sneak, you know it's wrong. If you have to lie about a situation, you already know it's wrong. This is why it's important for us to have discernment. So when you're down praying, pray for the knowledge of God, pray for the wisdom of God, pray for the understanding of his spirit, and most importantly, pray for discernment. Don't leave home without it. You need to take discernment along with you everywhere you go. Let me close with this. God, your word is clear about right and wrong. Through it, show and teach us what obedience looks like. And give me the courage to do what is good. Discernment. Something that we all need. This is Strength for Today's Band, Volume 123. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the channel, and share the channel with someone else. What's our motto? Don't keep it to yourself. Share the wealth. I look forward to seeing you on the next podcast. Be blessed. Whoa.